Hello everyone and welcome back. In this PowerPoint tutorial, you will learn how to create character facial animation using motion paths and spin effects. This animation is inspired by character facial animation tutorial in After Effects by Move Shapes. He used Adobe Illustrator to draw the character and later animated the same in After Effects, but we are going to use only PowerPoint for both to draw and animate the character. Let's first talk about character design. If we select all the layers on this slide and then move to shape format. And here if I choose no fill from shape fill drop down menu. And then apply only a black outline to all the layers. Then you can see an outline view of the character describing all the shapes used to draw the character. Along with that if you also open the selection pane. Then you can see how each of the layers has been named and placed separately over the slide. The layers listed in the selection pane is in ascending order, which means the first body layer is on top of all the other layers, and likewise the back hair layer is behind the other layers. You can turn on or off the eye icon in the selection pane to see only the specific layers. The arrow in front of a few layers indicates that they are grouped layers and expanding it will show you all the other layers that have been grouped together to create a single shape. We only use the freeform shape from the insert tab to draw the entire character. Now, let's talk about the animation effects that we used in this presentation, and for that, we will open the animation pane from the animations tab. Along with that, if we expand the thumbnail view then you can see that there are a total of 6 slides. The animation sequence has been created just over the first 3 slides and the next 3 slides. That is slide numbers 4, 5, and 6 are duplicates of slides number 1, 2, and 3. We replicated the first 3 slides and then over the duplicate slides, we just reduce the timing of the effect to make the character movement a bit faster. as you can see in the preview. So, we only need to understand the animation effects used over the first three slides, and later you can make more duplicate slides to increase or decrease the character movement speed. On the first slide, we used the up motion path for back hair, left ear, and right ear, and down motion path for front hair, left eyebrow, right eyebrow, nose, and mouth. To create the eye blinking effect, we use the grow shrink effect over the left and right eyes. Applying these animation effects is easy, as you just need to select a specific layer, and then move to the animations tab, and then click the add animations drop down menu, and then choose more motion path. Here you can see a long list of predefined motion paths, from which you can choose the required one, like up or down motion path. Later, you can select and hold the red dot to adjust the length of the motion path. We are using a 1 second duration for all the motion paths and spin effects with a delay timing of 1 second and it is totally up to you how fast or slow you want to move the different parts of the character. If you double click an effect from the animation pane to open the effect options properties window, then here you can note that we are using the default start and end smoothness of half a second over all the motion path with auto reverse, as we want the layers to move up or down and return to their previous position. Also, all the effects have been set to start with previous. To create the eye blinking effect, we are using the grow shrink emphasis, and if you open the effect options window, then here you can see that we have set the size to 10% vertical alone with auto reverse for both eyes. Over the second slide, you can note that we are using the same up and down motion paths for front hair, back hair, left ear, right ear, face and face shadow. 
For that, we just duplicated the first slide and then changed the motion pad's end position a bit to the left side. But for both eyebrows, eyes, nose, and mouth, we are using custom motion path, which you can apply by clicking on the animation drop-down menu. Do note that you may not find the custom motion path effect in the add animation, more motion paths list. The custom motion path is only available under the animation drop-down list. If you zoom a bit into the slide, then you can note how these custom motion path has been drawn to move those specific layers a bit to the left side. After applying the custom motion path to one of the layers, you can later use the animation painter to replicate the same effect on the other layers that you want to move in the same direction. You can also watch our tutorial on how to use animation painter in PowerPoint and the link to that video is given in the video description and in the cards. We then again used the grow shrink effect to create the eye blinking effect with a 10% vertical size for both the eyes. To move the front hairs, we used the spin effect with 5 degrees clockwise with auto reverse. And for the back hairs, we are moving them at 2 degrees clockwise with auto reverse. Finally, the third slide in the presentation is a replica of the second slide, and on this slide, you will get to know how to use the reverse path direction and Let me explain that to you in more detail. As you can see on the second slide, all the face layers move a little bit to the left side, and after a bit of time delay, we want them back at the same position. If we apply the auto reverse to the motion path effect on the second slide, then they will immediately return to the same position, as there is no option in PowerPoint to add a delay before the auto reverse. That is why we need to create a third slide, which is a duplicate of the second slide. On the third slide, you only need to remove the delay timing of all the motion path and grow shrink effects, and then adjust the delay timing of spin effect accordingly. Then select only the up and down motion path from the animation pane first, and from the effect options drop down menu, Choose Reverse Path Direction. Do the same for all custom motion paths and also apply the Reverse Path Direction to them. Now, if we move back to the first slide, and then open the Transition tab, then here under the Advanced slide, you can adjust the time for the first slide, like all the animation effects on this slide ends at 3 seconds, and we are using an advanced slide timing of 3.50 seconds. So, when you play the slideshow, the second slide will appear after half of the second delay. On the second slide, all the animation effects end at 4.25 seconds. So here we are using 4.75 seconds for advanced slide timings, and the same timings have been set for the third slide as well. For the fourth, fifth, and sixth slides, which are duplicates of the one stone, second, and third slides, we did nothing but just change the time duration of the animation effects and reduce the effect timings to make the animation run a bit faster and then set the transition timings of these slides accordingly. Finally, if you run the slideshow then you can see that the first three slides run the animation a bit slower than the latter.
In 2019, we published a tutorial on head rigging animation, where we used the morph transition with action settings to make the character responsive. You can also apply the same technique to this character as well to make it responsive according to the mouse movement. I hope you will find this video informative and interesting. Let me know your thoughts by liking, sharing, and commenting. You can also help and encourage us to publish more informative tutorials by sending super thanks. Every super thank comment will get pinned and we will shout out the name in our next tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Bye and take good care of yourself.